Audio Renaissance presents Grammar Girl's Quick and Dirty Tips to Clean Up Your Writing by Mignon Fogarty, read by the author. Introduction. I'm Mignon Fogarty, the author of Grammar Girl's Quick and Dirty Tips to Clean Up Your Writing. Add shine to your image at work, school, and home. This book came about because I produce an internet audio program, a podcast about language. I've been a writer for more than 15 years, and I love helping people write with confidence and providing memory tricks that make writing easier. Most of the topics in this book come directly from real-life questions that have been submitted by my podcast listeners. Whereas our parents often communicated by telephone, with the availability of email and instant messaging today, we're more likely to communicate by writing. That's why it's more important than ever to clean up your writing. It only takes a few email blunders to ruin your reputation at work if you have a grammar stickler for a boss or a colleague who cares about language. If you're a parent, it's also important that you give your children a good foundation for the writing-intensive world that awaits them. Set a good example by using words correctly when you talk to them, and you'll be giving them a leg up in school and at work. An important note is that this is not a comprehensive writing guide. This book contains a selection of interesting topics, and I've attempted to include many of the most common problems that clutter up people's writing. Everyone should have a dictionary, and most casual writers would also benefit from owning a style guide or a grammar handbook. I know that I reach for reference books at least 10 times a day. But if the explanations and memory tricks in this book help you remember the 24 rules that follow, then you'll be able to avoid the common blotches, save your mental energy for the truly difficult questions in life, and shine at work, school, or home. Part 1. Dirty Words There are some pairs of words that are frustratingly easy to confuse. Sometimes it's because they sound alike, and sometimes it's because they have similar meanings. More than half of the questions I get from listeners are about these confusing word pairs. I imagine people staring at the computer screen, frozen with fear because they don't know whether to use further or farther, and finally giving up and rewriting the whole sentence to avoid the issue altogether. That's a good way to deal with it if you're unsure, but these confusing word pairs are my favorite topic because it's usually easy to come up with helpful memory tricks. And once you know the right words, you can just say what you want to say instead of going through the contortions to avoid making a choice. <laughs> 